What's up everybody? Got another video here for you. We are going to evaluate this triple integral here. All right, so it looks nasty and yes, it is nasty. So we want to figure out how can we evaluate this thing easy? Well, let's look at it. Well, we can convert it to spherical coordinates. And so, just to refresh your memory, if we're going to evaluate a triple integral over a region E of some function f of x, y, z, then that's going to be c to d, alpha to beta, a to b, and then that's going to be uh, let's see, I need to, I'm going to move this down here so I'll have some room. So that's going to be F of rho sine phi cosine theta rho sine phi sine theta rho cosine phi and then times rho squared sine phi d rho d theta d phi all right and you can see that rho is between a and b, theta is between alpha and beta, and phi is between c and d. And then we've got some other properties that we're going to use. We know that x is equal to rho sine phi cosine theta y is equal to rho sine phi sine theta z is equal to rho times cosine phi and rho squared is equal to x squared plus y squared plus z squared all right <clears throat> and basically what that's going to look like this is just going to be a rough sketch. So let's suppose we have a point out here. And there's the projection in the XY plane. Let's see. This is R. Uh, we've got our Y. Let me put R up here. And this is X. Uh, we have, let's see, there's theta, there's phi, and there's a the radius rho. And of course, this is Z. That would be the height of the point. And so that's a that's a graph what it looks like and, and you can go through the calculations and kind of see how we how you get all that stuff right there. But that's basically what we're going to use. Okay. So you know, you might want to pause the video, jot that down cuz I'm fixing to erase it so I can have some more so I can have some room here. Uh so let me erase this and then we'll will work the problem, but this is what we're going to use. We're going to use this to work it. And we're going to we're going to convert this from rectangular to spherical coordinates. All right. So, let's just kind of sketch this out and see what we have here. So, if we draw this out. All right. 
and we'll extend the Z axis on down. So you see these these bounds here on this inner integral. Well, that's a that's just a sphere with radius one. All right, that's a sphere, and we got a radius going out to the sphere. <clears throat> and this top part here, that is the square root of one minus x squared minus y squared. And this bottom part of the sphere is the, is the negative square root of 1 minus x squared minus y squared. So that's where these bounds come from on this inner integral. And then if we're looking in the xy plane, that's just going to be a circle. Okay, And this is x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to one. Okay, it's a circle with radius one. All right, <clears throat> because if you if you're looking down on that sphere, you know you got a smaller circle up here, and the circles are getting larger and larger as they go down. So <clears throat> we know that this top half of the circle is the square root of one minus x squared, and the bottom half is negative square root of one minus x squared. And that's negative one and one. So you can see on the y axis, we're going from negative square root of one minus x squared to square root of one minus x squared. That's where those come from. And then on the x, we're going from negative one to one. All right. All right, so if we look at the integral, we've got the integral over the region B of e to the x squared plus y squared plus z squared to the three halves dv. All right, so we got to get our our bounds and everything. We got to convert everything to uh, spherical coordinates. All right, so this is going to be the integral. All right, so if you remember from what I had written. The inner bounds, that's going to be rho. That's the radius. So you can see we're going from 0 to 1. All right. And then for theta, so, so look, this is what we're doing. So phi is measured off this z-axis here. It's, it's measured along here, this angle here. And I forgot to write it, but phi is between 0 and pi. So what we're doing is we're rotating that sphere here and then we're taking this edge here and rotating it all the way around, all the way around the z-axis and then it's going to create that sphere. So, <clears throat> so for theta, we've got to go all the way around the z-axis. So theta is going from 0 to 2 pi and phi is going from 0 to pi. And then this is e raised to the what? To the rho squared. All right. <clears throat> because remember, x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to rho squared. And then all of that is raised to the 3 halves. And then remember what we had tacked on to the end there? That's rho squared times sine phi. And then that's going to be d rho d theta d phi. <clears throat> All right. So we've got 0 to pi, 0 to 2 pi, and 0 to 1. And then that's going to be e to the rho cubed okay e to the rho cubed times rho squared so we got the rho squared and that's going to be d rho d theta d phi
Now, it looks like a big old mess to integrate this thing. But look, you see, you see our bounds here on these integrals? We can actually, there's a property that says we can split this up. 0 to pi. Oop, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look at that. What did I do? I left off sine phi d rho d theta d phi. So that's going to be 0 to pi sine phi d phi 0 to 2 pi d theta and then 0 to 1 rho squared e to the rho cubed d rho. All right, we can split them up and then multiply them together. We have a property that says we can do that. <clears throat> and so what do we have here? When we, well, when we integrate sine, that's going to be negative cosine phi from 0 to pi times theta from 0 to 2 pi times. Now this one. Look, if you need to, just come over to the side. You can use your substitution. Let's just do it right here. So if I integrate rho squared e to the rho cubed d rho, well, if I let u equal rho cubed, du is 3 rho squared d rho. So you can see, I can do all my replacement stuff. See, I've got rho squared d rho, rho squared d rho, but I need a 3 in front. So I need to multiply by 3, multiply by 1 third. So that's going to be 1 third, and that's going to be e to the u, d rho. I mean, I'm sorry, d u. All right. So we made our substitution, and so that's just going to be one-third e to the u, and then of course, you know, plus c. And so we've got one-third e to the rho cubed plus c. So when we integrate that, that's just one-third e to the rho cubed, and that's going from zero to one. And so now we've got negative and that's going to be cosine pi minus cosine 0 times 2 pi minus 0 times 1 third. Well, let's do this. Let's put, let's put uh, e to the 1 cubed minus e to the 0 cubed. And so this is negative, that's negative 1 minus 1 times 2 pi times 1 third times e minus 1. And so this is going to be 2 times 2 pi times 1 third times e minus 1, which is going to be 4 pi over 3 times e minus 1. And there's your answer. So, it, I mean, yeah, very difficult. You're not going to be able to, you're not going to be able to integrate that thing right there. This thing right here. And so what we do is we just change it to spherical coordinates and it makes it a lot easier to integrate. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment. And I will see y'all in the next one. Later.